What's going on guys? Okay, so I'm here with Eric from Free Living 207. If you watched my live video, you will have seen that we are going to find the ghost trains and we're gonna camp out for the night and it's gonna be pretty awesome. So we got the Phoenix, we got Eric in there. Peace. And we got all of our stuff, which I'll show you that we need. And we're gonna get up there. We gotta head up through Greenville and out that way towards Kineo. Um, so once we get up that way, um, we'll start getting some footage for you and the video will get better and better. So we'll see you guys soon and let's get this show on the road. All right, guys, we've made it to Greenville. We're going right through Greenville and right out the other side. I believe we're going the right way. See you guys in a minute when we hit the dirt roads. Fish and wildlife management area. Greenville. Keep Maine green. This is God's country. Why set it on fire and make it look like hell? Awesome. What do you think? Can't wait to get there. We just figured we'd stop, take a quick second, and get this on video for you. Dirt roads. Got my navigator over here. We got directions on the phone and uh, we got the gas up here. And unfortunately, in the gas up here, it don't tell you where the trains are. So, we gotta just follow these roads for a bit. And we'll see if we get lost. Ah! Driving, driving, and then the, the directions say stay on the main road. <laughs> and the, there are no signs telling you where you are. So, this is what makes it more interesting, I guess. Once we were supposed to be coming up, we just passed a few things that did have a sign that let us know we weren't kind of going the right way. Hey! He was crying a few minutes ago. I was trying to tell him we'll be all right, but he wouldn't listen. <laughs> I'm scared. He scared me! Help me! We might see a moose out here if we look close enough. Looks like Tar Road for a second. All right, well, we gotta get going down the road and we got a long ways to go, I'm taking it, so. I'll keep I'll keep you guys up to it, how about that? Um, but yeah, this is the North Main Woods for sure. Oh, look at that big bump in the road. <laughs> All right, guys, we've come to the fork in the road. Now we go this way. Sweet! To the trains, you gotta stop here at the checkpoint. You gotta give them information and pay uh, the toll to get in. Um, I, I'll stop on the way out and get a, pictures from the inside, a video. So, all right, we're all set. We got our paperwork. We got a map to get there, so we've made it this far. Let's go. We're making it. We have officially found the road that says trains. Boom, right there. And the good old Phoenix has been doing great. She's got a nice little dusty frickin' undercoat on it. <laughs> we both had to stop to take a leak. And soon we should be hiking into the trains. It's getting a little windy and the clouds are starting to come in. So just gonna be an interesting trip for sure. But I hope you guys all enjoy it because I didn't do this for nothing. Right, Eric? Yeah, that's right. Cost me already about probably 300 bucks, but. You gotta do what you gotta do. Do it for the YouTubes. Yeah. We so, do it for you. so feel free to hit me up on my PayPal. <laughs> come in. Yeah. Like, Not that I'm begging for money, but I do this for you guys. So come on. All right, we're gonna get headed. Take a walk over here and 
read all this stuff. Well, we'll see in a minute. Okay. Figured out we're about probably a quarter of the way. Turn the camera back on. This is where I should have got my foot. I still got 61%. Damn nothing. 10%. There's Chip. Did you get food for me? That was cool. They'll probably follow us for a bit. They like to do that. Oh, yeah, see, I told you. There he is. I know where you guys are going. Let's see if I can get close to him. See ya. <laughs> All right, we'll see you when we get there. Follow, 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 follow the wooden road. Should be getting almost there, I would say. We shall see. I am having such a great time. Super cool. I mean, we've been walking on these little wooden bridges for a while now. Right through the middle of the, I mean, the main woods, man, the deep main woods. North Mainwood. Uh, North Mainwood, that's what I was trying to say. <clears throat> and we got the Phoenix. It's been a pretty good time. All right, we got some people up ahead, so I'm going to exit stage left. You can see it down there, but there's a, there's a railroad sign, and there's some rails running through this gully. So they, they must have carved out the gully, or they followed the natural train and, and only carved what they had to out, you know what I'm saying? But, yeah, there's the beginning of the rails. We're getting closer. I'm so excited. I hope you guys enjoy this video because I've been wanting to come up here for years and here I am going to get to experience the ghost trains. It's amazing. It's the most amazing day. Thank you, Eric, for bringing this up and inviting me to go along, man. Don't know how amazing this is. What was this? This must have been like a ho uh, little house or something. A little storage, you know what I mean? Oh, look at this. Could have been water storage, tree, uh... I was thinking like a, a coal house, yeah, something like that. I don't know, I'm not a train conductor. I'm gonna, I'm gonna walk over and cheese. The rails right there. Try to get a little closer. Check it out, guys. Going that way. We're getting closer to the trains. It's awesome. This is great. You are entering the Tramway Historic District. All artifacts are property of the state of Maine. So I would hope nobody would come down here and take anything. Look at this. Switching sign, I think it was. I'll tell you which track is, is what. It's pretty cool. And you're gonna walk right down the rails. And we got a whole group of people coming, so we're gonna get off the camera. He's making his video. the The trail goes right up the tracks. It's so cool, guys. I don't know you. You don't know until you're here and experience the the being out in nature and walking down railroad tracks in the middle of nowhere. I drove up four hours today to get here. Just simply amazing. Look at this. Oh, look at that. We got ourselves, it looks like a, 
a boiler. Let me turn my light on. Yeah, that's the boiler. It's a boiler to an engine. You can see it in there. Pretty sweet. Further we got to go, but we're still walking down the, the old train tracks. Lollipop, lollipop, ooh, lolly, 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 lollipop. Bum, bum, bum. <laughs> Looks like people have been going that way too. Oh, piece of machinery right here. Oh, it's a coal bucket, I think. And some wheels, train wheels. Get some of that. That's sweet. Oh, there's something else up there, dude. Tools. We gotta go get this. Look at this up here, guys. And gals. Wow. This is amazing. This must have been a, a car, a train car, to haul the wood. Wow. Wow, what? I know, but there's a whole freaking all kinds of train parts over here. There's a trail that goes right down through it. Yeah, we'll get this in a second, guys. I gotta take some pictures. Try to make our way down through the train junkyard. Look at this. This is incredible. The middle of nowhere, an old wood train car. Look at this. I am so glad I came. If you guys are in Maine or you ever come to Maine, you should come check this out. It's quite the drive, but it is worth it. This is this is what this is. Is a train just all sitting here. On both sides, two trains. This is incredible. Some of the locals, as far as the squirrels, aren't happy we're here, but this is completely incredible. I love it. Holy crap. See what that's over there? We'll see you in a second. I gotta wait for Eric and then we'll go check out the trains. I'm glad. I hope you guys are enjoying this. See a smile on my face? It's fun. I can't read the bottom word. But it says Pacific Railroad, Montreal, 1911. 1911. Car's still going down that way, but let's go see the trains. Here's the trains, folks. We did it. We made it. Oh my God, look at that. Wow. That is awesome. He's going to stay in here for a second. Look at those folks in the middle of nowhere.
looks awesome. We made it. Incredible. Isn't it cool? I'll get out of the way if you want to get up here and get some. Yeah, I couldn't climb up in the other one. This one looks better. Yeah, feels pretty fragile. Oh, yeah. So I would be careful. Shut you guys down as I get out. I bet you this camera's not doing it justice, guys. It's that giant train light. Look at that right there. 7 1 of 59. Somebody wrote on that. Great, great, great time. It's beautiful weather out here. Amazing. Yep, and I will see if I can get a lot of uh, some information to put in for you guys, but that's pretty awesome. Um, I'll record this up close if you guys want to read it. Um, it says during the winter of 1926-1927. So there's the rest of it. Just put it on pause and you guys can check it all out. Try to get closer. There you go. Now I'm going to read it off camera so I know what it says. I made it to the ghost trains. Outdoors with Aaron was here. I'm not going to ride on the train. I'm not going to put a sticker on the train. I'm not going to do any of that. I'm just going to post this video. Now you know I was here. So all right, guys. We'll see you in a minute. Storm's coming. I love how yellow birch wraps around itself, scored. What's up? What's up? What's up, man? Yeah, so we've walked in and out and passed like, and did all of our recording and everything and passed like 300 people. Yeah, we passed the same people coming out that we did going in. Plus, well, got a half hour of footage. Yeah, I mean, there wasn't that much. I guess there's another way you can go, but we'll probably check that out another time because. It went up over hills and through the valley and to grandmother's house it went. But it's cool. We are enjoying ourselves 100%. So glad we came. We were a little sketched when we were trying to find it because it was such yeah. long stretches with the directions we had in between. forever to get here. Yeah, like you'd be like, did we go the wrong way? Because we've been driving for like 20 miles. But yeah, all right, people are coming. Got our little chairs here. We can both just sit and relax. We got our hammocks and our little tarp up. We get out of the back of the Jeep. This is the shit, man. Now I know why people like Jeeps so much. We, anything we need is right here. 
Like we could go almost anywhere and camp and be comfortable. I mean, shit, if we were allowed, if we were allowed to have fire, which we probably could, but we're not going to, we could, we could do it right there. We don't need a fire, we got our freaking little butane stoves. True. Nice to have a good camp. It's a small one. But no, this is pretty badass. Um, we saw all the ghost trains. And then we have a special surprise for you, but I'm not gonna tell you about it. You're gonna have to keep watching the video because we have another spot that's almost like the ghost trains that we're gonna go visit. Um, some of you that are from Maine probably have a really good indication of probably where we're going. Where we're going. But it's gonna be on the way home, and on the way home we're gonna take a whole lot more footage of like the, the Deadwood uh, Beach and a bunch of other places we saw on the way here. Um, but yeah, for, for now we're just gonna hang out, have a good time. We got some. Uh, we're gonna have, we're gonna do a whiskey review, which should Cocktails. be pretty cool. Um, we're gonna make some food. We got some MREs that we're gonna try and do a little MRE review. So we got a lot planned, but we'll see you guys in a bit. Okay, so this is what we brought for rations and food for one night. Yeah, it's a little overkill, but he brought what he wanted to bring. I brought what I wanted to bring, and then this is what we're having for dinner. This is just a snack. Um, we'll probably eat this right off. Probably after the whiskey review. Yeah. Um, this is for breakfast. We got some English muffins and we got a breakfast skillet. Um, that's at Walmart, you can get that. It takes 10 ounces of water, so make sure you have some water. I got myself some classic roast Folgers. Um, I brought the two MREs. This one I get for Eric, this one is mine. I had to open it because we needed to use the toilet paper and shit to start the fire. Right. Yeah, so. Anyways, I'm gonna let Eric tell you what he brought. All right, so over here, we just got a few cans of smoked sardines, classic spaghetti rings and meatballs, Italian style meatball soup. I don't drink coffee, I drink tea. Some Labrie energy bars and a meat stick. Yeah, like him, a meat I stick. I got an Aaron right here. <laughs> yeah, so we tried to pull off the same joke. <laughs> but you know what my joke is? That all the people from UK will like you better than me because you drink tea. Oh, black tea, my my favorite is Earl Grey. <laughs> <laughs> but hey. Oh. Oh, and I want to show you guys this. On the bottom of this, you probably wouldn't even know. I never knew it was there, but it says, don't try to make friends with raccoons. They will just charge at you. Steal your food and then laugh about it with their friends behind your back. <laughs> that's, that's pretty funny. Big old Sam's Quench right in the middle. So yeah, anyways, we're gonna uh, cut you off here for a second, get this stuff out of the way, and then we're gonna go through these daily rations because this is uh, menu number four and this is menu number two. And we want to. we're gonna compare them to see how much different they are. And, and these are humanitarian rations, which are, it's a food gift. The Americans, the United States gives these to other countries as a gift of food so, to try to help them out. And they charge them $7.99. Yeah, at the main military store in uh, Holden, Holden? Yeah, Holden. So, all right guys, we'll see you in a second.